Welcome to Boss Automotive. 2019 Jeep Cherokee First Drive Review. The front half, including that grille, and one of its three motors, is new. Little hybrids are enormous news and the Jeep Cherokee needs to be a greater player in this action. This is the biggest SUV fragment on the planet, said Scott Tallett, executive of Jeep brand. It's 9 million deals comprehensively and 2 million in US. The fragment pioneers alone, the Honda CRV, Toyota RAV4 and Ford Escape, made up well finished a million US deals a year ago. Individuals adore the utility, economy and general usability of these things. Also, they hint at no losing interest, every one of the three of the Porsche pioneers went up in deals a year ago, the front running RAV4 by more than 15%. The old Jeep Cherokee, in the meantime, long in the tooth and donning that silly grill, dropped in deals by right around 15%. So it was high time for Jeep to accomplish something. What the 2019 Cherokee gets is a halfway overhaul, another motor and the same off-road worthiness that makes a Jeep a Jeep. While it's not what you'd call all new, the 2019 Jeep Cherokee is possibly half new. The case, or essential body in white, remains the same toward the back of the A columns, the entryways remain the same and two motors remain the same. For all I know the tune continues as before on the sound framework, as well. It gets another front end, supplanting the dubious Salvador Dali use of the seven Jeep stripes that graced the Chanel's of the past model with a more worthy more upright grille. It looks more like a Jeep now. In any case, it's not only the flame broil that is new up there, it's the whole structure from the A column forward, including the expelled aluminum fold zones and the motor support. It has some pleasant aluminum structure to meet those outrageous balance crashes, now, as well. The headlights are more minimal and productive LEDs. Also, it gets another 2.0-liter turbo for driving either the front or every one of the four wheels. The new Direct Infusion 2.0 Turbo 4 makes 270 horsepower and 295 pounds foot of torque. You can likewise get a 2.4 liter 4 making 180 horsepower and 170 pounds foot or the proven 271 horsepower, 239 pounds of a 3.2 liter V6. All motors come mated to a 9 speed programmed. This for between $25,190 for a passage level latitude 4x2 model up to $38,970 for a completely stacked overland 4x4. In any case, the Cherokee offers something its rivals can't coordinate, rough terrain execution that'll get you over the Rubicon and back. While you can get a Cherokee in front wheel drive, Jeep's single greatest offering point is its 4x4 ability. Four-wheel drive comes in three levels, Active Drive I offers a solitary speed exchange case that can send energy to the back wheels when required. Dynamic Drive II offers a two-speed control departure unit and logo outfit lessening. Dynamic Drive Lock is the same as two yet includes a mechanically bolding back differential. You can get up to a 51.2 to 1 slither proportion, which implies you can crawl up or down extremely soaked stuff. Over those decisions you can get select terrain footing control that alters the measure of slip it permits to one of five settings, auto, snow, sport, sand, mud and rock. Also, there is slope drop control to help mosey you down extremely soaked trails via consequently getting singular plate brakes, and select speed control to naturally set the speed at which you crawl about. Expanded utilization of aluminum all through, including an aluminum hood and in addition a sans hands control back end made of plastic composite, mean 150 pounds of weight reserve funds over the past Cherokee. On account of this, I set out to investigate the wilds of Malibu. My first drive was in the Cherokee Latitude Plus 4x4 with Active Drive I, which stickers for $29,190 to begin. The undercarriage tuning on the new Cherokee. The progressions they made to springs, stuns and bushings, was gone for making a more refined, more rich ride in a straight line on the roadway. This demonstrated valid as I headed down the SoCal cleared for a path of Pacific Coast Highway. The ride was tranquil and the vibe in the driver's seat was about quiet. The specific Cherokee I had accompanied the new 2.0 liter turbo. When all is said and done it was more than up to the job that needs to be done. There was energy to save for 90 or more percent of your driving needs. 270 horsepower will move the Cherokee off the line as fast as any of the opposition, presumably speedier, however I didn't time any dispatches. 
I noticed a slight delay amid mid go speeding up, passing different autos, for example. I don't figure you could call it turbo lag however it wasn't prompt dispatch. I ought to have gone for a CRV or a RAV4 that day. The 2.0 felt about the same as the opposition as far as responsiveness, possibly somewhat snappier. The Cherokee's Turbo 2.0 ought to be significantly snappier, since it offers around 100 horsepower more than the 2.4 liter CRV or 2.5 liter RAV4. In any case, it likewise weighs 300 and 350 pounds all the more, separately, than those two fragment pioneers. I had no issues with the 9-speed transmission amid my couple hours drive on asphalt, didn't see it chasing between gears, for example. A more extended term test would be useful. I courageously volunteer for a year's long haul drive if Jeep needs to send me one of these, however I may include rooftop racks, rear bars and a couple CB radio receiving wires in that time. Also for sake pinstriping. On exceptionally twisty two-path mountain streets over the boo, the Cherokee wasn't what you'd call energetic by any methods, however it stood its ground. You're not going to search out summits in a hybrid utility vehicle at any rate. Be that as it may, roll was negligible by reduced SUV norms. This is the place the Jeep mark emerges. You couldn't have done the things I did in any of those best offering contenders. On shake divider drops the Cherokee clung like a bug to the dividers and ventured down with the certainty that originates from 77 years of building 4x4s. I went up salt trails, over stones and down soil that would influence a CRV to screech like a first year recruit amid sorority start customs. I experimented with everything Jeep offers, everything recorded over, every one of the acronyms. While the Wrangler is as yet the lord of rough terrain, with far more note for the enunciation and mobility, the Cherokee can get you into an out of spots you wouldn't set out attempt with the CRV, RAV4 or Escape. A few times I pondered to roll the apparatus over, and even moved my weight to the tough side to avoid it, however the Cherokee was well inside the scope of safe motoring. Which makes one wonder, what number of rural soccer guardians will attempt the Rubicon? Maybe none. Does having the best four-wheel drivability mean anything in a market commanded by basic need customers? An arrangement of snow tires will get you through a rural winter superior to anything all the logo on the planet. By keeping up such significant rough terrain ability, is Jeep staying pertinent to the market? Having crossed the Rubicon a couple of times myself, and living inside a few hours drive of the huge and trackless Mojave leave and all the enterprise it guarantees, I unquestionably trust so. On sale, end of February. Base price, $25,190. As tested price, $34,515. Powertrain, 2.0 liter turbo 4, 4WD, 9 speed programmed. Yield, 270 horsepower at 5,250 revolutions per minute, 295 pounds foot at 3,000 to 4,500 revolutions per minute. Check weight, 3,655 pounds. Mileage, TBA. EPA city slash highway slash combined. Stars, off streets like nothing else in the section. Cons, no one goes driving through rough terrain, 